Hi, today we're going to talk about making a Halloween fog effect using a fog machine or using dry ice. We're also going to show you how you can use the two together. When you use a fog machine, it has to be plugged in and heat up in order to get the fog out. So as we know, heat rises. So when we turn on the fog machine, that fog is thin, kind of wispy, goes up and all over the place. When you use dry ice, dry ice is 109 degrees below zero. It's cold, it's dense, and it's going to want to sink. So we take our dry ice. Now the dry ice comes in these bags. I've left the dry ice in the bag so I can handle it without gloves. Just cut some holes in the bag so the water can get to it. We drop it down in our water and you see the fog come out and sink. A cold, thick, dense fog is what you get from dry ice. When you want the effect to stop, you want to take the dry ice out. Just grab that plastic bag, nice and safe, and your fog effect is over. One of the things with a fog machine, as we said, you have to plug it in. So the distance you can go is limited by the length of your extension cord. Fog machines will cool down. They have to be heated back up. So you may not be able to shoot the fog when you're ready because you have to wait for your machine to heat up. Dry ice, meanwhile, as soon as you're ready to party, dry ice is ready to party. Just drop it in the water and there it goes. If you want to have fog in multiple locations, all you need to have is multiple buckets of water, whatever your container is. Put them all over the place, take pieces of dry ice, you can have fog everywhere. Unless you have multiple fog machines, you can't do that. So that's some of the differences between a fog machine and using dry ice. Now how can you use them together? If you have a fog machine and you want that low-lying dense fog that you get from dry ice, you can do that. What we've done here is we've taken a box. We cut a hole in it here and that's going to line up with the end of our fog machine. We'll just put it right on there and on this side we've got two holes where the fog can come out. So that thin wispy fog that you normally get from the fog machine, we're going to cool it down by putting the dry ice inside our box. Now you can use a cooler for this and that'll help your dry ice last a little bit longer. We didn't want to cut a hole in a cooler for this demonstration, so we're just using a cardboard box, but you'll see how well it works. So we're going to turn on our fog machine, and that fog that would normally head up in the air because it was heated is now being cooled down as it hits that dry ice, and you can see much more dense, and it sinks as it comes out of there. So we're cooling down that fog from the fog machine using the dry ice. Now the fog machine's running now. I'm going to turn it off. And you'll see that fog still rolls out because that dry ice has been heated. So we hope you enjoyed this. There's some tips on making fog using a fog machine and dry ice. Dry ice is available here at Circus Ice Cream.